The next item I'm going to be working on on my fixed width A3 assignment web page is the header. I want it to be centered. So I will go now into brackets. And I don't currently have a rule for header. So I'm going to add one here. And because it's an image, we're going to, it, images are treated like inline blocks. So sort of like text. So we can use the text property text align to center it instead of what we had to do, for example, on the wrapper, which was to set the margin left and margin right to auto. So, oops, text align to center. And I'm going to save that and let's take a look at the web page and refresh. Now it's centered, but I'd like it to stand out a little bit more. And so I've selected a nice background color that will blend in well. So let me add that. Background color is if I hover over that color, it's actually a light shade of blue. I'll save that. Go back to my web page. Refresh, and now you can see just, just lightly, it's not too much of a transition. But there is a little bit of a gap between the bottom of that, of that image and the color block underneath. And that's a little disturbing to me. And you would really see it if I had it a different color, like blue. In fact, let me do that right now. If I, so control dash or forward slash to comment that out. And if I made that background color, color blue. I saved it, and if I look at the web page again, refresh, you can see what I'm talking about with that gap. So we have to play a game in order to fix that. You see, the image itself, because it's a text block, is given a little space. And so we're going to have to play a little game with alignments. So when we want to target the image in the header, going back to brackets, I'm targeting now the image that's in header, not any other image. So I set my selector, and this time I'm going to be turning that image. Instead of inline block, I'm going to have it display as if it were a block. A block element. And so that means I can 
play games with the margin left and the margin right to center this time. And now I have a different type of alignment. I have a vertical alignment that I can use. And this time I want it to align with the bottom of its container. I save that, go into Chrome and update. And now you can see with the dark, dark blue that that gap disappeared. That was a trick I had to play on this image to get it to act as if it were a block element and to align it, to align it with the bottom of the, of its uh, background. Oops. So now going back to header, I am going to remove my blue and I'm going to uncomment that background color to my preferred background color. You just do control slash again, that will toggle that. And voila, that's the header. And I can play a similar game with the nav, but let me do that in a separate video because we're at seven minutes now. Before I do that, I'm going to take all that nav stuff and move it up. after the header image and before footer, just to put those elements in order. Okay, so we'll do nav in the next video.